We spoke a lot about the exterior changes to the E3 range with the subtle improvements to what was already a very, very good looking car. But uh, where the big changes have taken place are inside the car here, a lot of changes to the interior. We start out with the dash, all new dash, uh, Oracle dash it's called now, new binnacle gauges, all new through the centre part of the dash where uh, a lot sleeker, a lot sharper. Uh, with the GDS here, the GDS nameplate, uh, carbon fibre look interior uh, and also some uh, detailing it through the uh, dashboard and out onto the doors. We turn the, uh, the dash on and every time you turn the car and you get that fantastic welcome of HSV, I just want one. And we go straight to the radio section. And now the radio is all touch screen, so no more extra buttons on the dash. All touch screen, very easy to change on the run if you want to use that section. Still can have, you control everything from the steering wheel as we've seen in previous models. One of the big changes and one of the big additions to the HSV range is the EDI or Enhanced Driver Interface. Enables you to go through and really see what your car is doing while you're driving it hard. We can turn that on and you can turn that on via the steering wheel with the EDI dash button. When you start the dash up you get the uh, serial number or your build number so you know exactly where you are and ha what your build number is. EDI Adaptive will give you a very quick demonstration and overview of how all these pages will work as we go through them. First page of stability control shows you how the ABS and, uh, and traction control is working and that's done through a bar graph on each of the four wheels. G-Force, very very descriptive and uh, colourful way of showing you how many G's you're pulling mid-corner whether it be acceleration, braking or through roll in the middle of the corner. Bit of slip so when you're pushing hard on the track and you can get the rear of the car out a little bit, this graph here, the further into the red you go, the further sideways you are. It's certainly something we'd only encourage you to be using on the racetrack. Magnetic ride control, still part of the uh, E3 range and a fantastic addition that we had in E2. This now also, you get a graphic demonstration every time you turn that on and off, you can get it show you how much more magnetic ride control is used, being used. Side blown zone alert, Will will be talking about side blown zone alert, but we can turn that on and off through the EDI just through this mode button here. We'd suggest that you leave that on all the time. Bimodal exhaust, we now have the ability to change the mode of bimodal. So when you're trying to sneak home late at night, you can turn it off. Also, if you're sitting at the traffic lights and you want that to be a little bit quieter, you can turn it off so that no bimodal at idle and it'll only kick in once you're above 2,500 RPM. This page is fantastic, a lot like what we have on the race cars. Uh, pretty much what we'd call the race page. Big number, obviously, the gear selection, the gear that you're in, can give you your brake percentage, your throttle percentage, your RPM in a bar graph. These are shift lights down here, and then still the RPM in a numerical form as well. These are a couple of additional gauges to the uh, binnacle gauges up the top where they're fully user programmable, so we can change, and you can have whatever you like up there with various uh, inputs, things like external temperature, manifold pressure, power usage in kilowatts, fuel usage, uh, litres per hundred. So every fully cut program will look completely up to you to how you have them. This is a bar graph for showing your litres per hundred over the last hundred kilometres. Very graphical way to see how, how good a job you are at using your fuel or how bad you are at using your fuel. This page is a stopwatch, so if you're ever doing any sort of motor car event or track day and you want to time yourself, you can start that and then you can split it just like any normal stopwatch and then review your splits later on. Now this page is fantastic. This is uh, used in conjunction with SatNav and GPS, which is standard through the whole E3 HSV range. This now allows you to, whenever you go to a racetrack and do a track day, all the Australian racetracks are already pre-programmed into EDI. So when you rock up and you go to Bathurst, and we have Bathurst pre-programmed in there at the moment, you roll onto pit straight and start your lap. When you cross the start line, the GPS already knows where the start line is, and every time you go back past that, it'll show you your lap time, it'll show you the previous lap that you've done, the bet, your gain and loss over your best lap, which is also shown there, your maximum speed, your corner speed of the previous corner, and also the braking G. So very realistic use of what the uh, data and what the information that's gathered throughout the car over the lap gives you that in a snapshot. As we said, we're using Mount Panorama as a uh, reference because obviously Greg Murphy loves that place. He reckons he owns it. He set a lap time around there that's half special, but I keep reminding him I won it last, he didn't. 
Finally, what you can also do with this car is via a USB port that's kept in the glove box is download the data after you've done your track day. So just like what we do with the race cars, download the information onto a USB stick, plug that into your laptop, HSV, in conjunction with Motec, having uh, come up with a fantastic analysis software. It's called i2 for HSV. It enables you to look through all the information just like we do on a race weekend. We know that the HSV product is fantastic. Now we want you to be better as drivers and you can do that via the data.